A lot of positives tonight. What are some of the things that stand out to you? You know, it was good just to get out and, and compete against somebody different, but uh, get, coming here, first game of the year, at home, establishing uh, where we are. You know, and, and the big thing is to compete. And like in any game, you want to understand why you either win or lose and look at the things subjectively tomorrow, look at the film, make corrections and concentrate on improvement. There's a long way to go. And so it's a good first step, but we understand what this is. This is the preseason, but every time they throw it up, it's important to compete and establish how we're going to compete. Preseason or not, 67 points in the first half. Your offense was flowing from the start. What, can, what did you get from your, your new backboard? Well, I think uh, the unselfishness by everybody, the, the, to make plays for each other, to space the floor, to cut, to play off the pass, uh, make the right rim reads, get downhill, spray it out, make the extra pass. I think when you play like that, the game becomes easier and you get rhythm. Uh, I thought Kemba and Evan were really, really good. Julius was Julius. RJ got going. Our starters really played well. Taj gave us really good minutes. And then our bench guys did a good job. And then I didn't like our defense at the end of the third. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a hard look at that. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, we, we have to strive to be a 48 minute team, and we're nowhere near that right now. So, and conditioning's a big part of that. Thank you. Coach, when you think about where you guys finished last year and pace of play, what are you looking to do this year, and how would you assess this preseason game in terms of? Well, I, I'm not as, I don't get wrapped up in pace. Like, there's, there's a lot of teams that are high in pace and, and low in wins. And so that's what I, I'm concerned with us winning, so I want us to be strong on both sides of the ball. And so uh, there's a lot of different ways to go. It, it's, it's just like taking the three. I want to take more threes, but I want them to be the right threes. And we talked about that in our first team meeting, uh, how we were going to generate the type of threes that we wanted and uh, to have a balance, uh, to get into the paint and, and spray it out and make good rim reads. and. Um, and do that sort of thing. So I think we, we also have to stress execution. So it's not just pace and, it, and it's, it's everything. It's how you space the floor, how you push the ball, how you execute. But more importantly, we have to get stops. The rebounding is not where it needs to be. So that's something that we can focus in on. Uh, but I thought taking care of the ball, making the extra pass, that was, that was really good. What was it about Kemba that you liked the best, the first taste of him? Yeah, just, you know, coming in, setting the tone, uh, making the right plays. The game tells you what to do, and I think he reads the game extremely well. And that veteran leadership, uh, his shot-making ability, he's very good in the pick and roll. Uh, it, he puts a lot of pressure on you. Uh, and he's unselfish. When, if he gets blitz, he's going to get off the ball. He's not going to fight the pressure with pressure. Uh, I thought we we made the extra uh, pass out of the blitz pretty effectively, uh, and that's something that you, you have to work on. And so you need everyone. Uh, timing and spacing is is probably the biggest thing with offense. So everyone being in the right spots. If one person's not in the right spot, it's going to make the group look bad. The same as with the defense. If one person doesn't do their job, it doesn't work. RJ looks very comfortable putting up those cat and shoot jumpers, but he's always been a guy who's been kind of a downhill guy first. How, how do you want him to read those situations as he becomes more of a jump shooter? The same. You know, like it, we, we, we talked about last year, he started slowly, but put a lot of extra time in at night. And it paid off for him. And I think that's given him a lot of confidence. And uh, it was great to see him in the gym last night. So he's back to his routine. Uh, sometimes in training camp, it's, uh, if we're practicing twice, it, he doesn't have the time to do that. But his commitment is special. He's a great kid, hard worker, disciplined. Um, and he'll keep getting better. He's only 21. Uh, but he's putting a lot of work into the game. With that second unit, uh, what do you like about the three guard lineup with um, Burks quickly? Yeah, the, the playmaking. I think it's uh, and they can play. They play off each other really well, and so 
all three can handle the ball. All three, they're very effective in dribble handoffs. They're, they're very effective with the pitch. Um, they're very effective downhill in reading the defense. And so I think that puts a lot of pressure on, on the defense. And so you can get a, a, an advantage in terms of a mismatch. And then I don't know whose shot it is. Uh, we can call, call your play, and then it, you have the responsibility to make the right read and then hit the open man. Whoever the open man is, that's who we're looking for. For the 58th pick in the draft, does Jericho just look very polished or just like ready for this? I mean, more than most 58th picks? Yeah, years. well, I don't, the, the thing is, is you need everybody over the course of a season. And I'm very pleased with, with our rookies. Uh, they were here all summer, all fall. They live in the gym. They get, they get better daily. They're part of the green team, which is also known as the dream team in our gym. So they go after people. And so the, and the veterans have done a great job with our young guys. So they're helping them. They're teaching them the tricks of the trade. And we got great veterans. So it's a, it's a really good mix of guys. With Kemba and Evan in that first unit, what do you think of the, the spacing tonight? Oh, it, you know, it opens up the floor. And they, they know how to play off each other. You know, they've had some experience together. I thought Julius made a lot of good plays early on where he moved around, he got the ball hop in, he made good plays. He, he drove it when he should have driven it. He shot it when he, it just, he's harder to guard like that. And we can play off of different guys. So i um, very pleased with that overall. Yes, 1.43 left in the second quarter, you called the timeout. What did you not like that caused you to get that timeout? Probably some defense. <laughs> no, 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 we just, like, the thing is, you know, it's, it's uh, early on, but it, it was a mental mistake. And so I think it's important to correct those things. You know, and no one's going to be perfect. We'll, we'll make mistakes, and if we hustle, we'll cover up for that. But when you make the same mistake twice, we can't allow that to keep going. So we wanted to fix it. Three turnovers tonight and none from the point guards. What, what did you see that made you guys successful? Yeah, I think the execution. That's what you, the, the big thing was making the right reads. You know, not fighting pressure, not trying to split double teams and that sort of thing. I thought the spacing was good. I thought guys made quick decisions. Uh, and when you play like that, the game is easy.